Hey, good evening, everyone. So, Ansh this side, and today we are going to start with our next topic. And today's session is very, very important as per uh, practical's point of view. So, starting with the, uh, the performance tuning part. Suppose uh, this is our first question. If application team ask you that uh, we are having some issues, some we have some problems, or they are facing some slowness. in their application side in their application server so this is a type of one uh, one of the problem scenario which we have to perform uh, uh, in the real life scenarios and this is a problem performance tuning task so what will be your solutions what will be your approach to resolve this issue if application team is approaching you that they are uh, uh, facing some issues uh, or slowness related stuff in their application server so as a dba what will be your solutions and what and all things you will check from the dba end right so the first thing you have to check is whenever i am totally confident totally confident that there is an issue with the sql queries right sql queries and the sql queries i am referring as that it can be uh, due to different issues like if sql query is in long running right means this query is running for a long time usually what happens sometimes backup is being scheduled and due to backup uh, the backup script is coming in the long running sessions right so it will fetch some resources and io from the database and it will impact the performance for some time right and due to this uh, what we used to do if that issue persists during the backup related issues then we can ignore that or if you want to uh, do the permanent fix then you have to work on it and you have to resolve the issue by modifying the queries or by allocating the channels by increasing the cpu memory whatever the case scenario so in our scenario what is the issue that application server is facing some slowness and i am totally uh, confident that is it is due to the sql query how i am pretty much confident because while triggering the long running queries command long running query command i found that some rmn related jobs is being running rmn jobs is being running and it is consuming an enormous amount of space so what can be done and how to check using the long running queries and what can be done to resolve this issues if it is not rmn related jobs it is some select queries which is running for more than 15 minutes or 30 minutes if it is running more than 30 minutes that means it is a problematic issue you have to then and there resolve that issue else it will lead to a slowness in the application server because it will consume cpu io and all type of resources from the database end so coming to the point uh, how to check the long running queries and how we can fix it so let me uh, log into the server as the ctl dot org as a stable a Uh, so we ctl start database minus e and the database name as is stable it so this is one of the way to start a database using sri ctl i will let you know how to start it so what it is showing that as sha uh, was already running so let me validate once again yes sha is running right so now what we can do here let me open one more terminal and let me log into the database here also dot over pnv ss triple a and uh, this will be a uh, sql plus as this db and what should i do here uh, i will trigger one query the query is like this so this is a query uh, for the long running session to detect what uh, what are the long running sessions and all that total work done and how much time it is still required to complete the uh, remaining uh, works so let me close this let me make this command ready to trigger and on the other terminal i will just go to rmn target and i will just initiate the command called backup database plus archive log so here what i did I have triggered the command backup database plus archive log and backup is initiated and I will trigger this one also. So look what is happening here. 
this is the output we are getting here set page is 200 look this is the output we are getting now uh, what is happening here backup is still in progress so look we are getting the output Yeah, we are getting the output. Let's wait for the completion of this backup. Once backup will be completed, once backup will be completed, we will find that no row selected. Right? Backup is completed now. Again, you can trigger this command. Look, you are getting no row selected. That means what? If anything, you are running for a longer period of time in the database, you will be getting it uh, here. Okay. And what will be the command for checking the long running sessions? Is this one? I will circulate with the. Uh, uh, within the portal so that you guys can access this. So the, from the views called GB dollar session underscore long of from this view you can analyze what is the long running query which is running for long time. Okay, even if it is running for a shorter period of time, you will be able to find it out in this uh, query sections. So what we have analyzed here once I have initiated the RMN backup. So you will be getting that it has been split into three parts. Okay, aggregate input full data file backups, full data file backups. This is taking full data file backup because we have allocated two channels on that scenario. Okay, and uh, it is showing that total work done, this uh, this is in seconds. Total so far, still this much is required uh, to complete it. This is the time, startup time, and how much time it is remaining. So this will let you know that, okay, these are the uh, steps, uh, these are the case scenarios, these are the SQL scripts, or these are the iron backups, or these are the serial jobs which is running for the uh, for so long under op name column and you will be getting the total work and total uh, time remaining to for the completion of a particular job right and you can even see that if job is not running or job is still running but it is stuck somewhere else so you will be able to find here also that this won't be increased or decreased the total work and so far so if something bad happens to the database or if some query is running for too long then in that scenario what you can do here you can even kill the session. Now you will say, okay, how we can kill the session as a performance during task if something is impacted the database and Armin backup job is also running. So first of all, you have to take the SID, right? So how to get serial hash from this? Because we have the command uh, to kill the sessions. So first of all, I have the SID from this lo uh, long of session command, right? Long running query. So let me search, select. SID comma serial hash from three dollar session where SID equal to seventy one. From this query, you will be able to find the serial hash ID, and even if this query is running for too long, then you are good to kill the sessions with the permission of the application team. If application team allows you that, okay, you are good to kill this query. Even it is a select query, insert query, delete query, then you are, you can delete it. Or if it's a admin backup, then you can delete by your own without asking to any of any other teams because admin backup is your responsibility. That is why every organization used to run their admin backup jobs at the midnight when the database server loads or the client used to connect. Uh, client connection is very less during that time. So as a performance tuning stuff, first of all, uh, if anything suspicious you find like in the long running sessions. You can ask that this is a select insert or delete query which is running for so long. Can we kill it? So if they will allow you, they will permit you to kill the session, then you can analyze that what is the serial hash ID. If you know both SID and serial hash, then you are good to kill the session like this. Alter session. Sorry. Alter system. Kill session. And in quotations, you have to give SID, comma, serial hash. And in last, immediate. So, if I trigger this command, you will be able to kill the session. Why it is throwing error for me? Because this session ID is not still present, right? Because we have already completed this Ironman backup jobs. If we'll check here, let me show you once again. Let me make the command ready. So, this was the long running session command. Let me trigger it here. And I will again initiate the Ironman backup backup database plus archive log once i will initiate and i will initiate the long running session command also the session id is 71 i will find out the serial hash from this right and 
the serial hash is similar to this okay okay one difference one seven seven six one right one and immediate look what uh, what is the output here system altered right now if you'll check the admin of long running session if you'll check now it's more selected and you will check the admin jobs it is showing fatal error in recovery manager that means you have manually killed the sessions that is why uh, admin backup failed so this is the one issue you can observe in terms of performance tuning in real life scenarios where you can kill the sessions if it is in the wrong long running session this is the example for admin if there is a select queries insert query delete query any query from the application end also from your end also you can do this stuff with the following commands so this is the first case scenario where we can uh, ob observe these things apart from that we have the oratop utility tool also from oratop utility tool also you will be able to find the serial hash as well as the sid without getting uh, log into any of the command so we can work on that also let me check whether we have installed the oratop utility here cd slash u01 uh, in this location we don't have the oratop utility so you can try with oratop utility also so try to open the oratop uh, prompt here in one of the terminal and try to run the backup jobs in other ter terminal you will be finding the backup related stuff in this oratop terminals and you can even find out the sid and even everything even the commands also so this is one of the uh, case scenarios of the performance tuning so in the next session we will discuss about different case scenarios in the performance tuning so till then thank you everyone take care bye bye